Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adam. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Tiny Task as a beginner. So first of all, down, uh, go ahead and download the Tiny Task on your PC. And after you've downloaded and everything, you're going to see just like a pop-up window, just like this. And this is the Tiny Task app. Uh, Tiny Task is a simple and lightweight automation tool that lets you record and reply actions on your computer. Okay, first of all, after you downloaded the tiny task, you have the recording uh, recording button, and this starts recording your mouse movements in uh, key strokes, and you have the play button, and the play button uh, replays the recorded actions, and the save button, the save button uh, saves the record, recorded macro for later use, and you have the open button, uh, opens a previously saved macro, and you have the, of course, the settings, a button right here or the preferences uh, so allow uh, that allows you to adjust the playback speed and set the kid uh, continuous playback okay and if you want to uh, record a task just go ahead and open the tiny task and click the record button perform the action you want uh, to automate for example if you want to automate opening a file just perform the action of opening the file and once done click the record button again to stop the recording you have the playing back the task right here or play and click the play button and replay the recorded actions tiny mask a, a tiny task sorry will mimic exactly what you did during the recording including mouse movements in key strokes and you have the save button right here if you want to use the macro later click the save button choose the location and name for the file this allows you to replay the macro anytime without the uh, re needing to re-record it okay you have right here uh, loading the save task click the open a button right here uh, to previously uh, to load a previously saved macro once loaded click play to ex ex execute uh, the saved actions and you have adjusting uh, the playback speed you can adjust the playback speed using the settings menu the gear icon right here and this lets you run the macro faster or slower okay so uh, you know start simple Begin with a simple task like opening a file or typing a, desktop, a text document. And Tiny Task is uh, best for automating uh, repetitive tasks that don't require complex, uh, you know, complex decision making. And be careful with the loops. When looping, ensure the task does not have any unintended consequences, as it can continue uh, indefinitely if not properly monitored. With these steps, you should be able to use Tiny Task effectively to automate repetitive tasks on your computer. So, let me know in the comments if this video helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell to receive every video we upload. Thank you for watching.